Okay, cool. We're live. So there we go. All right, guys. Well, welcome to class. Uh, good evening. A couple people. Let's see. Do I know everybody here? Eduardo. It's um, me. Oh, where'd Eduardo go? Is this Johnny? Hey, Johnny. Johnny? Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Great. Thank you. Cool. Johnny, have you, you've been in my class before, right? Yes, I have been watching one class to yours, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're from Sao Paulo, right? Yes, good morning. All right, cool. Well, welcome to class. How is the weather down there? Is it hot, cold? Oh, really cold. <laughs> I'm sick right now. Because, Are you? Uh, yes, the weather here is unpredictable, so. But today is 80 degrees, I think. 8 so, degrees. Yes. yes. That's, uh, trust it's me, really that's cold. cold. That's, that's cold. <laughs> it's cold for me because you know, Brazil is really hot. Now yeah, it's, I don't know. Uh, when the weather here is cold and people are not accustomed to it, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm from Canada, and sometimes we get, you know, negative temperatures, like negative 10 sometimes, which is cold. <laughs> Can you imagine? <clears throat> Actually, the coldest temperature I ever was once was negative, like, 25, I think, or 26. Which is crazy. Like, <laughs> you walk outside, and you're like, I'm frozen. <laughs> kind of. Cool. All right, let's see who else we got here. Uh, Lillian, how are you? Hi, James. Nice to see Good you. Good to again. see you again. So, yes, uh, I ask uh, Forkan uh, if uh, he likes New Colingo because New Colingo starts today. It's That's the right, yeah. Mm, right? Yeah, it does start today. Have you guys, has everyone seen it already? Yeah. Yes. When yes, you I, I open the website, that's what we see. Yeah, you guys get to see the new one. I still see the old one. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's okay. The old one. <laughs> Where do you live in Canada? Where well, actually, uh, Lillian, I actually live in Florida. Uh huh. So, but I'm from Toronto, Canada. Ah, Toronto. Mm. Have you been before? No, I wish. <laughs> Someday. Yeah. I would like to go there. Yes, great country. I like Canada. Well, I want to. I want to go south. So <laughs> maybe I'll visit you one day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, actually, I've made a list. You can see my list of names. Okay. These are all the students that I teach, right? Yes. Um, uh, Col Colombia is in your list. Colombia is on my list. Bogota okay. is like right at the okay. top. <laughs> you will always be welcome to Colombia. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's uh, move along the list here. Furkan. M. Yeah. Furkan. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you go by? What, what, what do you prefer? Yeah, it's Furkan. Yeah. Is it Furkan? Yeah. Where are you from, sir? Turkey. Turkey. Oh, I love Turkey. I really? <laughs> so, like, you've been to there? My, uh, my fiance and I were trying to think of a honeymoon destination, and I keep telling her I want to go to Turkey. Oh. She's like, eh. <laughs> I'm like, it's beautiful. And she's like, ah. I'm like, Furkan is there. He wants us to come visit him. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So is it, it's pretty hot in Turkey, I've heard, right? You guys are pretty hot weather there. Well, it depends on where you live. Uh, well, in Istanbul, it's hot, you know, the humidity and the starching sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no fun, no fun. Well, cool. Welcome to class. <clears throat> Thank you. Cool. Uh, who's this? Salim. Or no? Salim. Who is this? Hello, James. Oh, hey. Hey. Hi, Slim. Yeah, how are you doing, Slim? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, good. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. At least I, can, I have the chance to talk to you now. Good connection at last. <laughs> yeah, last time you had some, some problems. Yeah, I think that 
many times. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Maybe your internet provider is. <laughs> Sometimes the heat is the problem. When it's hot, I don't have a good connection. <laughs> so your internet gets lazy when it gets hot. It's like, forget it. I'm not working. Yep. Yeah. She's not friendly, unfortunately. <laughs> it's kind of like Miami, actually. <laughs> well, welcome back. Good to have you. Hey, Trong. Thank you. Trong, you there? Trong. Hello, good you. Hey, how are you? Hi, hi. Good, good. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? How, how are you doing, by the way? Hi. Not the best. OK, well, welcome to class. OK. Cool. All right, back over to Dave. Dave. Good old Dave. <laughs> yes. How are you doing today? Fine. Yeah? Yes, as usual, it's uh, like uh, the other days. I know, but you know, it's important to ask. This is uh, yes. a big part of a big part of American culture is always to go around and to talk to everybody, yeah. and to, to ask about the weather, and to ask. About, actually, this is interesting. You mentioned that because that's a Canadian thing to do. Canadians always ask the weather. No, I thought that it's uh, British. Well, British and Canadian, right? Yeah, it's we, British too. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, if you ever meet a Canadian person, like me, mm. no, oh. you are the first in my life. I'll teach you a trick. So Canadians love to talk about weather, and we always talk about how bad the weather is. So, for example, <laughs> for example, if it is sunny and beautiful outside. Canadian people say, oh my god, it is so hot outside, it's terrible. <laughs> and then the converse, so if it's cold, then oh my god, it's so cold, it's terrible. <laughs> and it doesn't matter, Canadians always complain about the weather. Uh, I don't. Yes, too. Yeah, really? Yes, yes. <laughs> no matter what, if it's hot, it's cold. Yes. Uh -huh. It's too hot or it's too cold. <clears throat> James, I yes, want to ask you yes. about Canada. Uh, people from Quebec, when they speak French and English, are they uh, different from the uh, other side of the country? Yes, they're very different. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean different? Like, they look different? Do they smell different? Uh, not smell. I, <laughs> I don't know them yet, but <laughs> I'll talk about uh, their lifestyle, for example. Uh, okay. Well, um, a little bit. I, I, I guess the biggest difference is that obviously they speak French, <laughs> but um, they do have some things in their culture that are a little bit different than in English English speaking Canada. So, uh, an example. Um, they tend to be more um, maybe protective, if that makes sense, of kind of their culture, because mm -hmm. they know yeah. that. Does that make sense to you, Slim? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I mean, they're just they're Canadians. They just speak French, <laughs> and they smell the same. Hey, master. They smell the same. Yeah. <laughs> I only use Skype, so I don't smell through Skype. <laughs> there you go. Okay, cool. Um, it's on. Welcome back. It's on. Oh, I lost her. She's quiet. She must be on mute or something. All right, Selma. How are you? I'm pretty well, thank you. Very good. Do you like the new Colingo? <laughs> so it's uh, actually the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, um, does any? But we'll talk at the end of class for a couple minutes. But does anybody have any quick questions about the new Colingo? Mm -hmm. No, 
the only thing that I miss is the, the clock to watch uh, when the class uh, uh, will start. Will start. Uh, that's a good point. OK. Yeah. OK, yeah. If you guys have other ideas, tell me because I can call. I can contact the the web people, the the owners, and we can try and make changes. So, okay. but I, I can't change the price. <laughs> the only thing that you can't change. <laughs> Actually, just while we're on we're on the topic here of Colombia, um, I've been listening on the news here in the United States, and they've been talking about Bogota. A lot in the news. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> yes, specifically about the um, the horses. Uh -huh. The horses. Ah, yes, yes, because uh, they. Um, this is uh, a problem here in my city, because uh, most of the poor people uh, own own uh, horses to, right. uh, to work. Okay. And, uh, it's um, there is a campaign. Okay. To uh, that they have to deliver them to the government, and the government uh, give them a, a, a vehicle, a, yes, a vehicle to work. Okay. And they they can pay in fee in fee month in fee month, uh, yeah. and and they yes, and they um, now they I think they have a, a lot of horses from these people. Because it's, uh, I I always hate to see that in my city. <coughs> horses are not uh, are not run. They they were, couldn't work in the city. They are uh, they are uh, I forgot how to say that. I think uh, they are uh, animals to work in the countryside, not in the city. And, okay. Uh, okay. It's, it's hard to them to to walk in the avenues in the street with. Uh, Heavy traffic. And okay. Some cars crash them. And wow. Yeah. So, fortunately, uh, they they uh, think in in these uh, reasons and they uh, gave them to the government. Really. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I've just sorry everybody. I just it was an interesting topic. So here in the United States. There's a, a really good radio station I listen to, and they always talk about different countries and things that are happening. Um, the other day I was listening to something about actually Iraq. Anyone here from Iraq? No, no, nobody. But they were talking about an interesting thing from Iraq, um, something to do with uh, the clothing that people wear, and they're trying to change what people wear uh, for clothing. So, anyways. Whatever. We'll, we'll talk about it another day. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Now, guys, um, today I wanted to actually I wanted to sh share with you uh, a little story that I have from when I was a little kid. And um, I have a lesson today based on my story. So I'm from Canada. And everybody, let me see if I can show you really quick. Pictures. Okay. Let me just show you this really quick. Share screen. Mm. Okay, do you guys know this? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Wow. Yeah, this is Niagara Falls. So actually, let me show you. Uh, Okay, actually, this is a good picture here. Mm -hmm. So this picture, you can see, there are you can see there's two Niagara Falls actually, one and two. And so the actual the actual um, structure is that over here, this side here, all the way to here, is Can is Canada. So this is Can Canadian land. All of this. Mm -hmm. And then from here over, this is the United States. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's always um, 
there's always a lot of conversation in uh, the United States and Canada because if you see here, this is the Canada Falls, and they're much more beautiful than the American Falls, right? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Good answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is very close to my home. This is maybe 30 minutes, one hour from my home. So when I was little, my, pa my family would take me there all the time to, sh to see. And it's very beautiful. Wow, it's so big. It's so amazing, right? So one day, we were driving home. And I had the most unique experience. We were driving in our car. And in front of me, uh, in front of the car, was a horse, two horses, actually. And um, behind the horse was, so this is a horse, by the way. And behind the horse was a little, uh, like, a, like a car, but, um, but no engine. Like a, it's called a buggy, a buggy. I'll put it on that side there in the chat. Ah, there you go, Dave. Yeah, that's right, a buggy. So a buggy. So it was like this and this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's so interesting. I've never seen this before. And when we got closer, the people inside the car were wearing very unique clothing. The men were all dressed in black with a big hat. Mm, and the gosh. women were wearing this weird thing on their head. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? What, what is this? So let me show you a quick picture here. Um, where's my pictures? <laughs> I don't know where my pictures went. So it, does anybody know what this is, what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's like in uh, the movies. Mm -hmm. OK, and, and do we know a name or anything? Hamish. Yeah, Hamish. you're almost there. Amish. Amish. Uh, Amish. 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 Mm -hmm. So let me just show you really quick so everybody knows what we're talking about. There we go. So you can see, um, here's a good example, this woman here. She's wearing, anybody know what the name of this is called? Mm -hmm. No. Two points if anybody knows the name. <laughs> it's called a bonnet. <clears throat> yes, bonnet. Uh -huh. Like in the French. Yes. That's right, yeah, it's exactly Money. the same. So the women, they all dress like this. They all have their, their bonnets, and they dress in sort of the same style of clothes. And then the men, the men always look like, oh, that's maybe not the best picture. Chapeau. Wrong one. Amish Mafia. The Amish Mafia, there you go. Oh, here we go. So this is the men. The men always wear the same type of clothes, and they all have a big beard on their face, and they usually wear the same type of haircut. Very interesting, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Has anyone seen this before? No, only in the movie. Only in the movie. I, th I think the Jewish, uh, the Jewish people uh, looked like them. Isn't that? Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't think... Well, maybe. It depends on the type of Jewish person, I guess, because there's different types of of, of uh, oh, yes, yes. there are different le um, like levels of uh, religion. Yes, the religious, the religious people. I, I mean, <clears throat> right, the religious people. Yeah, they do kind of look similar. Actually, they do wear a hat, <laughs> by the way. Uh, but anyways, so I was driving in with my parents, and I saw this, and I said, "Oh my God, what is that?" And my parents said, "Oh, those people are called Amish." Amish? What is, what is this Amish stuff? And of course, there was no internet when I was 10 years old, so I couldn't research. So I went to the library and I picked up a book. You know books? Have you heard of those before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We yes. know <laughs> They still exist. Do they? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Anyway, so I picked up a book and I read about the Amish. So I wanted to share a little bit with you guys today. So now I have a little video for you, just because I like videos. So I'm going to pull this up here for you. Yeah. Oh, I lost you. Where would you go? Cooling room. Cooling room. Cooling room. Share screen. Video. OK. And action. <laughs> so 
you can kind of see that these are sort of uh, sort of mm -hmm. traditional. Um, well, okay, that's not important. <laughs> Um, this group had come out and preached about adult baptism, and that was outrageous. And the people were so severely targeted that they phased out. And out of them, first came the brethren. Out of the brethren came the Mennonites. And out of the Mennonites came the Amish. In 1656, the English took over from the Dutch. The first settlers of Brethren arrived to Pennsylvania in the 1630s. The first Mennonites arrived upon the invitation from William Penn in 1710. Okay. Well, we're not we're not here for a history lesson, but <laughs> I just wanted to just show you a, sort of a, a picture of inside of the buggy. So it was kind of an interesting thing. So anyway, so this goes back to my conversation about uh, Lillian with uh, the horses in uh, Bogota. Make sense now? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, do you, what are you, do you guys know anything about these people? Uh, yes, I think uh, they live in the, uh, like in, in the past. They live in the uh, countryside, yes. Uh, yeah, generally in the countryside. Uh, they don't use technology or electric. Uh, Their life devices. is a little bit simple. Okay. How so? They they uh, marry between only between uh, all of them. Married um, within the family. Uh -huh. Does any when you marry inside of your family? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Uh, relation. Anybody know? All right, I will put it here in the chat. Traditional marriage. Inbreeding. In oh, breeding. In breeding. That's right. In breeding. It's the same as incest. In incest. Incest. Uh -huh. It. I. I. I think so. <laughs> Incest is a little well. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. <laughs> Good. Yes. So, the the fathers can marry the daughters. No, no, no. The brothers marry the sisters, or something like that. Well, a little bit strange. Would you want to marry your sister or brother? No. No, I think maybe nephew nephews. Okay, nephews. Yes. No, between cousins. Yes. Yeah, yeah cousins, cousins, but not that. Brother sister relation. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's brother and sister, but you can marry like a cousin. Mm -hmm. I think marrying a cousin is. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. I still wouldn't want to. There are, no, there are not enough people in the world. <laughs> I know it's incredible. So, anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was interesting. So, yeah, the big thing is they don't use technology. Um, well, uh, electronic technology, so no phones, no, you know, cell phones, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. And no light? I don't think they use money either. Well, they do actually use money because they sort of have to in modern society. Um, but what is it called when somebody uh, trades? <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> that's it. Trade. <laughs> trade. <laughs> well, actually, that's, that's not the verb that I'm looking for, but what is it when someone trades something for something else? Exchange? Uh, correct. Mm -hmm. well, we trade. Nego negotiation trade. It, correct. It is a negotiation, but there's a specific word that we use to describe this, and it starts with a B. And then? <laughs> A R R barter. <laughs> barter. Barter. Right. So the verb to barter, what do you think it means based on what we just talked about? To exchange products, uh, uh, Slim said. 
So do I change? Uh, got, got, uh, goods. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. And the same thing or different things or why? Give me an example. Someone. I give you an apple. You give me uh, different things. A candy. Man, I prefer the apple. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a cookie. You give me five. Exchange like fr fruits, fr fruits okay. for milk, for example. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Something I don't have, and you don't have, and we, you know, we complete each other. Uh, are they vegetarian? Was that in French? Uh, vegetarian. I don't know how to say that in, in English. Uh, they don't uh, eat meat, any kind of meat. Oh, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah. Anybody know how to spell it? B uh, E. Two points. Put it in the chat if you know. <coughs> Excuse me. What was the question? Oh, yeah, that's okay. There you go. Yeah, perfect. So, vegetarianism is the the, the big noun that we use to describe. Uh, what it is, and what is a vegetarian, by the way? But you eat only, eat only vegetables. Veg vegetables. No meat. Good. No flesh. No flesh, no meat, yes. So, what about eggs, milk? No. Mm, no. No? No. An animal? They come from an animal. No, no, uh, they don't uh, eat uh, proteins, I think. Uh, no cheese, no milk. Yeah, generally they don't eat those those items. So anything that comes from an animal, they, they usually don't eat. So some some of them do though. So they cheat. <laughs> All right, cool. Now um, let's get into the lesson here. So where are we going here? Oh, so before actually before we I have a short reading for you, but before we do that actually, um, I was doing a little bit of research on some of your countries while we were just talking here. And I learned a little bit about some of your religions. So, this is, I have a challenge for you. I'd like everyone to share, um, share just a little bit of an inf information about a religion from your country that is kind of unique. Interested? Interested? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. All right. So not too hard, but does anybody have any, uh, any suggestions to start? You can send me a link if you want me to show pictures or anything, too. Uh, OK, I, uh, I start. OK, uh, with a little Colombia is a, a Catholic country because we were colonized by Spanish. Yes. Uh, so our religion co come, uh, come from them. And um, uh, we believe in God. And, um, um, we usually we usually go go to, go to mass uh, every Sunday to um, to give uh, thanks to God for okay. everything. In life. Okay. Mm -hmm. think it's, it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is what religion? <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> I think we all know that, but okay, good. So, um, just a, a one quick word that uh, Lillian said. He said, colonized by the Spanish. What does it mean to be colonized? To be invaded by... Uh, mm -hmm. Occupied. Yes. Invaded, occupied, good, good, good. Were any of your countries occupied or invaded? Yes. Yes. My country is invaded by French. I think everybody was occupied by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's, how life works. That's how life works. Actually, Canadians occupied the United States for a while. Yeah. And nobody. That's a big secret. We don't tell them. <laughs> we also burned out. We also burned the White House down. <laughs> I have to ask Daniel if it's true. <laughs> ah, there you go. All right, cool. All right, good. Um, anyone else like to share one of the religions from their country? Don't be shy. Come on. Well, uh, in Tunisia we do uh, five prayers uh, every day. Okay. We are fasting Ramadan. Okay. 
What, what is your religion? You have to tell us more about the religion. It's uh, Islam. It's Islam, okay, yes. What else? So who, who, do, you, who do you pray to? Pray for uh, Allah, the only God in, uh, on earth. Okay, good, good. And any other important information we should know? And um, in uh, Islam, uh, we consider Jesus uh, as a, a prophet, not a son of God. As a prophet, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That's cool. And uh, in Islam also, uh, we consider that uh, Jesus uh, didn't die. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, some differences. Mm. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, I actually I don't know enough about uh, Islam. I should do some research because... I, I teach so many students that are from that are Islam, so I should really know. So. You, you can see a movie about uh, Islam. It's, it is called uh, The Message. The Message. Yes. Okay. I will write this down. Thank you for sharing. The Messenger. I... Sorry? It's on? I think we lost her. OK, good. And who else is in here? Somebody else? <clears throat> oh, Akkad, okay, yeah, I got that, I got that. Thanks. All right, guys, so let's get into the, uh, let's get and into what about our Canada? Are you Catholic, or what, what is the official religion in Canada? Official religion in Canada? Oh, that's interesting. Remember, I'm from Toronto. The place, because we have so many different religions uh, in, in Canada, in Toronto. So literally, you can walk down one street. There's a street that I'm thinking of. You can walk down one street and literally see like 10 or 15 different like churches or types of churches from different religions. It's incredible. So sometimes it's a little bit confusing <laughs> to know exactly uh, sort of what is what is yeah. mm -hmm. um, countries like Canada and the US? Well, the United States is a little different because it, it is very much Catholic. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in Canada, it is still Catholic, but we have so many more people. So, for just for an example, in Toronto, immigrants. Mm -hmm. Immigrants, yeah. Immigrants. Mm -hmm. So Toronto. What's the, yes. What's the difference between Catholic and Protestant? What is the difference between Catholic and Protestant? Protestant? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's actually just a, they're, it's still within Catholicism as a whole, but it's sort of different, different uh, Branch. branches, exactly, branches. And so some the belief is ultimately the same. Um, believe in God and Jesus, but the, sometimes the way that they do things is a little bit different. So, um, and also sometimes the religions can be like stronger and some of them can be less strong or weaker in their devotion. Mm -hmm. Does everybody know devotion, by the way? Yes. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. I like you guys. You I guys am but I am a devoted. Uh, I am a devoted student of you. <laughs> that is true. I like this group. You guys are all very. You're a good high level, so it's nice to have and you. Guys. Yeah, I, I like Canadian teachers. You all are really nice. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll try not to be nice anymore. <laughs> Actually, were you in my class yesterday for the cookies? Yes. Yes, oh, do you the, like them, by the way? Yes, of course. Um, maybe I will uh, do it this uh, weekend. And I told I, you. I actually got a student who sent me a message, and she said that she tried making the cookies. Yes. Yeah. Well, sorry, she was ready to make the cookies, but she didn't know one of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So she she had to research it. So she asked me what it was. <laughs> it was okay, sugar. I think I am. Um, I find all the ingredients uh, that you uh, have in the recipe. 
Yeah, I think so. Maybe maybe for the for the Muslim, maybe it's a little bit harder, but nah, you guys will be fine. All right, let's. <laughs> we're, we're chatting a lot today. We should get on to our reading. Okay, reading time. So again, it's not a very long reading actually, but I just wanted to share because I thought it was sort of an interesting little a little reading that I had. So we actually only have three little paragraphs, four little paragraphs. So. Um, we're just going to go through, and uh, we'll just spend a little bit of time going through. So uh, let's see here. I'm actually, whoa, what happened? Whoa. Uh, anyways, I would like to have one person read just this first. Ah, OK, I got to stop doing that. This first little, whatever, this paragraph here. <laughs> Can everybody read that? OK. OK, who would like to, uh, who would like to read, please? Any volunteer? Can I? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead, sir. The Amish are a religious group of people who believe in living separately from the modern world. They live in Canada and the USA in small farming communities of about 300 people. In total, there are about 80,000 older Amish. These people do not drive cars or fly in airplanes, but simply drive horses and carts. As a result, their communities are small and close, and their children do not usually move to another area when they grow up. They stay and marry someone from the community. Family values and, tradi and traditions are very important to the Amish. At home, they speak a very old-fashioned version of German. Although they also speak English when it's necessary. Okay, cool. Thank you. So. Mm -hmm. That they, they primarily are within Canada and the United States. Um, the biggest region actually is in the United States in a, uh, near a place called Utah. Have, has anyone heard of Utah? Uh, yes. Utah. Yes. No, I heard about uh, that they live in Utah. Yeah, Utah without a Y. So just Utah. Yeah, Utah. It's a it's sort of a mountain mountainous region of the United States. So they have, um, excuse me, they have small community. All of the communities are very small, and they're usually in farming communities. Good. Um, let's see here. Any any vocabulary? This all looks pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah. And also, what's something sort of interesting is that the families, uh, because they li they live sort of simple lives. Uh, it doesn't work very well for this document for some reason. Because they live sort of in sort of simple life, um, they often don't they often don't interact with the modern population, the modern communities. Why why do they communicate with them? Well, why do you think? Yes. I don't know. Because maybe they have been influenced by the modern world? Sure. What do you mean, William? Maybe a, a new ideas uh, against uh, against uh, their traditional their their beliefs. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, you, you're you're exactly correct. Slim, you had a suggestion. They consider everyone uh, out from their community as a stranger, uh, enemy, probably because he's totally different. <coughs> Uh, yes. I'm sorry? A closed community. Yeah, it, it is a closed community. That is correct. Um, so something that is interesting that uh, again, I'd like to share, um, when the children um, become the age of 18, what happens is something very unique. The children are given uh, a little bit of money, and they're given a place to stay inside a city. And the children are given a choice. They can go to the city, and when they're in the city, then they can sort of live a modern life for, I think it's only for one month or two months. Mm -hmm. And they have to make a decision. And the decision is, one, I'll come back to something. One, they can stay in the modern world and they can have cell phones, they can go get a job, they can 
you know, have regular people. Or they can go back to the Amish life and continue their life like that. If they decided to, to, uh, to stay in a modern world, uh, they can't uh, come back to their community? No? No, they Never? can't. Yeah, they're not supposed to. So, so they are excluded from the tribe? Yeah, they're excluded. Ex they are they are, they are removed from the community exactly, and so once they leave, they can't go back. I think you can go back and say hello, but you're not supposed <laughs> to. You can't go back in and become another Amish person. But I don't think uh, that uh, not uh, would be uh, a good uh, period uh, to use uh, to the city life. Why is why do you feel that? Because uh, uh, he uh, he's to the countryside life, so. mm -hmm. it would be really strange for him. Mm, I, I I think so. Um, in the United States, they had a TV show, uh, maybe a couple years ago. I I never saw the show, but I I heard about it, and it was actually about this situation. So about young kids moving to the city and getting to experience the modern life. It was, uh, it was very interesting. Anyways, if I can find it, I'll, I'll show it to you. <laughs> All right, let's go back here to the article. Oops, sorry, wrong one. That's not what we wanted. Okay, there we go. All right, very good. So um, let's have just next one here for they to telephones. So not too long. Who would like? Okay, may I try? Uh, please, yes, go ahead. Okay, they were very simple clothing, and the men wore white black hats, plain trousers, and shirt shirts. After they marry, the men grow beards. The women and even the little girls wear bonnets, a kind of old fashioned hat, and long dresses. They make their living from farming using all traditional methods. Their houses do not have electricity or telephones. Very good. Um, and can I have one more reader just for the last two paragraphs there? Can I, teacher? Yes, please, of course. The children finish school at about the age of 12 to 13. After that, they learn from working on their farm. All our children in the U.S. in the U.S.A. must attend school school for another four years. Many people do not understand the simple and and so and the way of Amish life. But the Amish believe that modern society is too stressful and materialistic. They feel that their lifestyle is true reflection of their religious beliefs. Good reading, thank you very much. Um, so, Salma, just a couple quick questions, a uh, couple pronunciations. Um, yeah. This word here, Finnish. Ah, uh, Finnish school. Good. And another one here, attend. Which one, teacher? Uh, sorry, it's hard to attend. I attend. Good. Attend. Attend. Good. Society. Society. Good, or society. A little bit faster. Good. And then this one actually for everybody. Materialistic. 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 Very good. Very good. Um, actually, while we're on this word here, can anyone explain to me what this means? Who loves money is greedy. Greedy? Yeah. Only thinking make money all the time. Yes. Love he is not altruistic. <laughs> That's right. Yes, they're not. They're not altruistic. By the way, what is... Uh, uh, well, <laughs> that was yesterday's class. <laughs> yes. Uh, good, good. Are any of you materialistic? Politicians, I think, are materialistic. Uh, probably. People who love bragging. Yeah, sure. People who love... Love, no S, love, bragging. 
Good. <laughs> hey, that's why I'm here. No need to apologize, please. Um, okay, good. So this, the other thing I wanted to share with you, I'm just going to put in the, the, the chat here. Um, so many of the Amish believe the customs come from Ordun. Ordun? I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but Ordunung? <laughs> A set of oral rules for living handed down from generations to generations. So the, uh, they don't have a Quran or they don't have a Bible. They don't have a, you know, a physical text. But they use, this, um, uh, they use this set of oral rules to communicate the set of values and beliefs. So mm -hmm. interesting. There's one more thing with you. Um, who they, uh, who are they believe in? Uh, what is their religion? What is their religion? Uh -huh. Well, actually, their religion does come from Catholicism or um, or Catholic. <laughs> uh -huh. But what it is, it's again same as we French, uh -huh. but over here they're very strong, very strong in their community. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Yes, of course. So actually, I'm going to send you a quick link here, just because it is interesting. In case uh, atheist, uh, we'll get there in a second. <laughs> the link I just sent you is um, oh, okay. actually all about uh, the Amish. It kind of gives you like little bullets. It's actually quite good. Okay, very helpful. Thank you. Of course. And Dave, uh, you put a, an interesting word in there. It says atheist. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about what that is? That means that uh, they don't believe in, uh, in uh, any god. Hmm. Interesting. You don't believe in any religion. Any religion. religion. They don't pray. Uh, they don't do. Uh, they don't do. Uh, they don't worship. They just uh, live like a normal person. That's it. Okay. Great. I, um, they believe that uh, everything is a coincidence. Everything yes. happened is a coincidence. Their existence, the existence of Earth, or everything, just a coincidence. They believe more in science. In, in science? Yes. OK, good, good. Yeah, it is, it is sort of an interesting concept. Um, so basically, an atheist means that they, they don't have any god, and they don't have a specific religion that they, uh, they participate in. Now, there's another one, actually, that I want to share with you. Um, I'm just going to send this word. Um, anybody pronounce this one? Ag agnostic. Agnostic? Good. Agnostic. 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 And any, any idea what this means? No. Okay. Well, you can all Google it. <laughs> they, they don't have uh, any religion. Oh. Right. So they don't have a religion, but they do have something. So many people who are agnostic do believe in things like life. They believe in the concept of life. And this is another class altogether, but... It's, a, it's an interesting one. People who are agnostic, they believe and they pray, but they don't necessarily pray to a god, necessarily. Interesting, right? Uh -huh. yes. anyway, I just wanted to share with you. <laughs> OK, now just a couple of quick questions before. Um, so can you tell me, just based on, your, uh, on the article we just talked about, where do most of the Amish people come from? Where do they mostly live? The countryside. Good. And any particular country or just anywhere? I think they are headed from uh, German. Germany. Mm -hmm. Good, good. They, they, a lot of them came from Germany. That's right, Dave. That's very good. So, the, and what language do they speak? Nope. Old fashioned German? Old fashioned German? Deutsch. Deutsch. Deutsch, Deutsch. 
Does anybody speak German or Deutsch here? No. Yeah, I speak a little bit Deutsch. Really? Are you yes. fluent? Excuse me? Are you fluent? Uh, not uh, the basics. I know only the basics. Well, well, the language. Slim as well. Yes, Slim as well. <laughs> uh, what? Polyglot. You, you no, no, speak no, no, German. No, no. Yes, <laughs> don't be shy. <laughs> wow, we need a German class sometime. Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. It should be fantastic. <laughs> it would be interesting, actually. So yeah. Maybe we can have a, a German class. I'll teach a little Japanese. Somebody can teach a little bit. OK, whatever. <laughs> we'll have a very interesting day. OK, cool. And then very quickly, um, this did not come up in the reading, but I'm curious if you know. How are the children uh, educated in Amish culture? Any ideas? According to their rules. To the I, I think they, they go to According school. to the experience of their school. parents, how they lived. But they go I to think their, their I grandparents. Their teach what? The kids. Grand, <laughs> grandparents. Yes, yes, yes. So interesting, actually. So the children, I'll, I'll put a, I'm going to put a word here in the chat. Um, they are homeschooled. 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 What does it mean to be homeschooled? Self-educated. What's that? Self-educated? Uh, not well, self-educated. Homemade the mentality. They have a, a tutor at home? Uh, correct. Mm -hmm. What's that? Their parents teach uh, the children. Yeah, the, the parents teach the children. So normally, in the community, there's sort of one person who's more educated and they become the teacher, <laughs> and they teach the children until a certain age. Now, in the article, what did it say? How many years did the children have to study? I just showed you. Well, uh, six years. <laughs> Two? They finished their education at uh, 12, I think. Yes. So they start at six, six years or seven years. So they're required to do four, but some of them do six. After, after they do something called, what is this? Hmm. Uh, wise people teach them okay. the, basics, <laughs> the basics of life. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, yes, that is correct. Can you give us an example of this? Um, maybe how to, how to farm or how to use tools in uh, the farming. Good, yeah, sure. How to plow, plow a field. Uh, yes. Plow? What, what does plow mean? Hmm, that's a good question. What is plow? So to put the seeds. Yeah, more or less. So you have a, a, a big machine called a tractor, mm -hmm. and it drives, it goes along the fields, and it it turns the dirt, it turns the earth, and it puts in seeds okay. behind it. And it's called plowing, I-N-G, plowing. Okay. Thank you. We'll, we'll have a class about farming one day. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, um, anyway, oh, oh, hey, Fabio's here. I just saw him. Hey, Fabio. Hey, how are you? Fabio, where have you been? We've missed you. I'm, I'm sick, teacher. Here yeah. in Brazil, it's very, very cold. <laughs> Guys, I think every single Brazilian person is sick. <laughs> we actually, in Canada, we have a name for people who get sick when it's not really very cold, but they think it's cold. And normally in Brazil, uh, do, do uh, uh, 34, uh, 30, 25, and now we stayed uh, 80. Right. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, cool. 
Well, actually, we only have about five minutes left here, so I should finish up. But does anyone have any questions or any comments or anything? I'm just going to give you the link, actually, for this article, if you, if you want it. Just a moment, please. Now, guys, I do have a class starting in just a couple of minutes. Now, the next class is a little bit harder. Um, this class was uh, sort of an intermediate class. The next class will be a little bit harder. It's a science class. And we're actually discussing global food waste. Whoa. All right, Amish. Yeah, what about uh, the role of, of women in Amish community? Wow, good question. What is the role of women in the Amish community? I apologize, we didn't bring that up. Maybe they cook, they sew the clothes, they take care of the kids. Traditional life of the women. Oh. Like, Homemade the foods. Yes, yes. So interesting, um, women in the Amish culture actually have a very, very dominant or very strong role. Um, because they are the, the they, we, it's called a home. Homemaker means housewife. Mm -hmm. okay. But they, in the recent years, they've changed the, the name because they want it to be more um, correct. That have been correct, meaning more uh, culturally sensitive. So the women in the Amish community actually are decision makers. So they make a lot of decisions about what happens in the home. Mm -hmm. And so they do actually have a very important role in the, in the home. Mm -hmm. Do they rally the troops? Did you just learn that idiom? Rally the troops? Sally, uh, Selma? OK. What business. does he mean, Selma? No, teacher, I've learned that three days ago in oh. business class. In business class? Was that my class? Mm -hmm. uh, no, teacher, it's not your class. <gasps> you went to a different business class? class? <laughs> 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 Who offended? Trita. <laughs> OK, I'm just kidding. OK, guys, I'm going to finish up because it's uh, 9.58 here. So, um, okay. Any final questions or comments? No. Great class. No. No, thank, thank you for you everything. Thank you. Thank of course. You Sorry, Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll have class in the next few minutes if you want to join. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.